welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys something a little different and also this video is probably going to be a little long. I will try to keep it as short as possible but no promises there. I teamed up with Taylor Stevens Salon and Spa again to bring you guys a recommended skincare routine using the new Tulosara Oleation Oil and their concentrates. So let's just jump right in. So at Taylor Stevens, they do have all of the skincare beautifully displayed. And then along with all of the skincare, they also have these little pieces of paper that kind of show you step by step what their recommended skincare routine is. And so I'm going to go based off of this. Sorry, my paper is like completely destroyed. My child has gotten a hold of this a couple times and I've had to chase after him. Now this skincare routine is a little long. I am someone who does take care of my skin. I like to take the time to make sure that I really get my face clean morning and night. Now because this routine is very long, there are ways to cut it down on the days where you have a little less time and then days where you have even less time. Being a mom of a toddler, there are mornings where he just doesn't sleep in like he usually does and I have about two seconds to get ready and entertain him at the same time. So during this skincare regimen, I will be telling you guys things that you can cut out and just to make your time a little bit quicker. But this is the full skincare routine. I do use it myself. I use the entire thing about three to five times a week, just depending on how much time I have. Now the first step is to cleanse your face. And the cleanser I am going to be using is the Botanical Kinetics Purifying Cream Cleanser. Now this is for normal to dry skin. I personally have extremely dry skin. So I don't like to use gel cleansers or foaming cleansers on my skin personally because I feel like it sucks out all of the moisture. So when I am using this, I like to get my fingers wet and my face, then apply a small dollop on my fingertips, rub it together, and then start cleansing my face. Now when I am cleansing my face, I use circular motions and I just make sure that I get every piece of bare skin. And you want to sit and rub it in for a little bit. You don't want to just slap it on your face and rinse it right away. And then now I'm going to go ahead and rinse. For the next step, you want to make sure that your skin is as dry as possible. Because the next step is using our dry brush. So because it's a dry brush, you want your skin to be dry. So I just want to make sure that there's no, you know, giant, giant drops of water anywhere. Now the idea behind dry brushing is to slough off dead skin cells and also to rejuvenate your skin and promote it to create more natural collagen. So you take the dry brush and what I like to do personally with this is I run everything upward. Opposite of gravity. So counteract it as much as humanly possible and I like to do repetitions of five. So I go around my neck. That's one and two. So I'll do this five times. Then I bring it up on my cheeks. That's one, two, and we'll do it five times on both sides. Then I like to take it around my eyes. And when you're doing this, you want to go from insertion to origin of the muscle. So you want to go this way. You never want to pull out on your eye. Four, five, and then the other eye. And then I also like to go up my parentheses and then on my forehead. And then before I'm done, I like to take the brush and because I am starting to get fine lines on my forehead as well as my neck, I will take the brush in circular motions on my forehead just for a few seconds and then I will also take it down on my neck. The next step is the oleation treatment and this is the Tulosara Radiant Oleation Oil. Now this stuff is very thick, smells absolutely amazing. You are going to want to massage it into your skin. So what I like to do is I like to take about four pumps, rub my hands together, and then lather my face. This stuff is said to help 
with the radiance of your skin as well as the all over healthy look to your skin. So you want to massage it in. Now I am applying not a ton of pressure but a little bit. Now for me, once this is massaged in to my liking, I like to brush my teeth while this sits on because they say that this needs to stay on for one to four minutes. So I figure this is like the perfect time to brush your teeth because it has to stay on anyways. Now I've been up for a little bit, so I've already done that. So I'm just gonna let this sit for about four minutes and I'll be right back. The next step is going in and cleansing again. So I'm going to just repeat the same steps as the beginning, getting my face wet first then using a small dollop of cleanser to massage it into my skin. Now, the towel that I use for my face is strictly a face towel. I use it for a few days, then I toss it in the laundry basket and get a new one. It's also extremely soft. There is no roughness to it whatsoever. Now, these ones were a gift from Japan, so I can't tell you where to get them. But I just recommend something extremely soft so that you're not really tugging on your skin too much. Now, like I said in the beginning, I only do this entire routine three to five times a week. So when the other days that I'm not doing the entire thing, what I do is I skip the oleation treatment. So I skip the oleation treatment, the dry brushing, and the first cleanse. So I basically just start with that last cleanse that we just did and I continue on with the rest of the routine. The next step is exfoliation. Now for that, I am going to be using the Botanical Kinetics Exfoliant. Now this is a liquid exfoliator, which I personally love because on days where I'm running super, super late, just use this, clean up everything on my face and I'm good to go. What I like to do with this is I take a cotton round and I usually do it about three times, just dump it over on it and take this and just wipe. Now this is going to remove dull surface cells to refine the clarity of your skin. And it smells amazing. The next step is toning. And for toner, I am using the Botanical Kinetics Skin Firming Toning Agent. This helps balance and tone your skin. I just like to take this and I do about four pumps on my face. It's very refreshing and it's extremely moisturizing, which with me having extremely dry skin is something that I want. The next step is hydrating treatment lotion. Now it is from the Botanical Kinetics line as well. So I'm going to basically use this just like the liquid exfoliator. I'm going to grab a cotton round and this one I'm going to Use a little bit more product because you really want that cotton round saturated. And with this one, I like to press it into the skin first. So I'm just going to go around my face and with not too much of pressure, just push it into the skin. And then after I do that, I lightly just make sure I didn't miss any areas, especially around my eyes because for me, that is where I get the most dry. And then I also like to bring this down my neck. The hydrating treatment lotion instantly boosts hydration levels in your skin. The next step is eye cream. And for eye cream, I use the Botanical Kinetics Energizing Eye Cream. And this stuff actually diminishes dark circles and puffiness. And dark circles is something that I struggle with. So I'm really liking this product. So what I do is I take a little bit of it on my middle finger and then just disperse it between the two and then I like to start by getting it right up there underneath my eye and then I will go around in circles you never want to pull outward on your eye you want to go in so just do this until I feel that it is rubbed in to my liking so the next part is the concentrates now their concentrates they are 97% naturally derived there are three of them you do not have to use all of them you can pick and choose the ones that you like the most if you are going to use all three of them they recommend using them 
from the thinnest product to the thickest, which is the Calm Bright Then Firm. That is the order that they recommend you using them in. So I'm going to start with the Calm. Now I like the Calm because I have very red cheeks and I feel that it's been helping with that a lot. Now what I like to do is I take about two full pumps of this one because it is very thin. I rub it in between my fingers and then I lightly lather my face. This concentrate helps restore the look of calm skin with 100,000 raspberry stem cells. It also helps instantly soothe with pomegranate fruit extract. Now they conducted some research on these concentrates and the proven results from the calm one was it instantly soothes the skin and also strengthens your protective barrier to help improve resilience over time. So basically, if you use this product on a pretty regular basis, you will eventually be less sensitive to products that you used to be more sensitive to. The next concentrate is Bright. Now this one is for discoloration in your skin like sunspots and age spots. With this one, I like to take one and a half pumps. I rub it in between my fingers and then I lightly lather my face. Now this one helps accelerate cell turnover with glucosamine and it also helps brighten and visibly reduce discoloration with licorice root extract. Now the proven results for this concentrate is 75% show diminished age spots and 82% showed more even looking skin. Now the last concentrate is firm. Now this one is firm, so it's for fine lines and wrinkles, which is pretty self-explanatory. So I like to take one and a half pumps of this one as well. And just like all the other ones, rub it in between my fingers and lather my face. This concentrate helps promote skin's natural collagen with biofermented peptides, and it also helps tighten your skin with almond seed extract. The proven result on this one is 91% showed lifted, firmer looking skin with visibly reduced lines and wrinkles. Now the last step is to hydrate and protect, and this is the Daily Light Guard Defense Fluid Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Now obviously Aveda is an organic company, so it is not a chemical SPF, it is a physical SPF. So this does have a white cast on your skin. When you use this, you really want to shake it, and you can hear the little doodad on the inside moving. So, and it has a screw top. I sat there for probably 10 minutes trying to yank the top off before I realized it screws off. So then I just take a little bit in my fingers and it's, as you can see, it's pretty dark. And then just rubber all over the face. Now, I personally like that it has a white cast because you can kind of see any spots you've missed. Um, and I haven't noticed a flashback with it if I put my makeup on over it. And they do recommend using this also as a makeup primer. So after this is all rubbed in, you can just start applying your makeup right over it. Now that is it for their recommended skincare routine. Now, like I said in the beginning, I only do that about three to five times a week. And on the other days, I usually just skip the cleanse the dry brush and the oleation treatment and start with that second cleanse and then do the rest of it. But on those days where life is just a little too busy and as a mom having a little one running around, sometimes you really need the easy way out. It's just a fact. So what I do is I just use the liquid exfoliator. Then I pick one of the concentrates. It's usually firm. And then I go over it with the daily light guard and that is it. Because like I said, being a mom is hectic and it's busy and sometimes we need the easy way out. So you can go into Taylor Stevens for a free consultation anytime. But I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So I feel like the dog ate my homework. My kid ate my paper. It helps restore this look.